Hi, I'm Krista, and this is Ed, and we're here at the Intelligent Body Studio. And we're going to do a stretch for the psoas and the iliacus, which are the muscles in the front of the spine and the pelvis, and I want to show you, because so having a picture makes a big difference. So the psoas attaches along the spine, there's one on each side, and it comes forward, crosses the pubic bone, and attaches to almost the back of the thigh bone. So it's like this. And the iliacus fills, does the same thing, but fills the ilium. This is the ilium. And they're the muscles that lift and lower the leg and support your spine as you're lifting and lowering the leg. And they, even though they're in the front of the spine, when they're tight, we feel it in the back of the spine and in our neck. So we're going to do a stretch for them. To do the stretch, you come onto the floor and you bring your hips up onto something. So this is a yoga studio, so we have yoga blocks and rollers and all sorts of things. But you can bring them up onto anything. You can bring them onto balls, you can bring them onto pillows, you can stack books and do it that way. Anything that gets your hips up in the air so that your knees can relax into your chest. Because if you have to hold your knees, then the psoas won't relax. So the idea is to have the back of the body relax toward the floor and the legs relax in toward the spine. So once you get there, you take a breath, soften the tongue and the jaw, and you let the lower legs sink into the upper legs. Take another breath, let your upper legs sink into your belly, let your belly sink in toward the spine, and the spine softens toward the floor, softening the hip joints. And reach your right leg up into the air. Take a deep breath, exhale. Pull your abs in to help keep your spine connected and reach your leg away from you. And when you start to feel your spine pull up from the floor, that's the end of the movement and you bicycle the leg back in. So that's the end of the range, current range of the psoas. Inhale, reach the leg up. Exhale, sink in the front. When you get to that end range, you bicycle it back in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, sink in the front. And this time, we're going to hang out at the edge, the edge, the end range of the psoas. So the back is still pulling toward the floor, and you're reaching into the ball of the big toe. And every time you exhale, you pull in. Inner thigh, pelvic floor, lower abs. Shoulders slide away from the ears. A couple more breaths there. Sinking in the front, reaching out into that leg. And then you, your hip joint is very narrow. It's in here. So you touch the bone in the front and you go down and in. And that's where your hip joint is. And you windshield wiper your foot from the muscles right around your hip joint. And you leave the foot turned out, lift it up a few inches, bring it to the side just a couple inches, and let it stretch toward the floor until you get the stretch into the iliacus, the front of the hip there, the front of the pelvis. Take a few breaths there. Still sinking in the front, reaching into the foot. One more breath. And then bring the leg in. And breathe and feel the difference in the two sides. Now we're going to move on to the other leg. So you inhale, reach the leg up. Exhale, sink in the front. And you reach the leg away from you. Until you feel the back start to pull up from the floor. And then you bicycle the leg and bring it in. Inhale, reach it up. You can hold the other free leg into your chest. Exhale, reach out into the leg. If you hold the leg in, it helps to stabilize the spine. So it's up to you. You can let it be free or you can hold it. One more time, bicycle it in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, sink in the front. This time we reach out into the leg and we leave it there at the end of the range of the current psoas iliacus range. So keep sinking the ribs in toward the floor, reaching out into the ball of the big toe, lengthening through the inner thigh. One more breath there. And then you go to the hip joint, which is very narrow. You touch the bone in the front. You go down and in a little bit, and there's where the hip joint actually is. You rotate the foot from around that location. Leave the foot turned out. Lift it up a few inches to the side, a couple inches, and let it traction towards the floor until you feel the stretch in the front of your hip, in the iliacus, and you hang out there. Breathe. Pull in with your lower abs. 
Pull in as you exhale with the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, and the lower abs to help stabilize the spine. One more breath there. Bring the leg into your chest. Take a breath. See if the second side caught up with the first side. Bring your feet to the floor. Take the block or the prop away. Come on to your back. Feel the difference in your back. Feel the difference in your breath. And then roll onto your side. Come up into standing. Take a walk. And notice the difference in how you feel. Thank you.